Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yomi. My name is Yomi Adegbele. I'm an artist. I'm just trying to make some cool content for you guys. Today's video makes me really sad because in today's video, I'm going to be drawing Kobe Bryant, the famous basketball player known for playing for the Lakers. He died a year ago today, a year ago um, from the day that I'll be posting this on January 26, 2020. He died in a helicopter crash with his daughter, his 13 year old daughter, Gianna Bryant and seven other people died in that helicopter crash as well. It was really sad. It was on a Sunday, uh, like a Sunday afternoon. And I just remember the day that he died. Some deaths, when you hear about them, like you remember exactly where you were and how you found out the news. And that was what it was like for me. Like I remember when J Michael Jackson died when I was in kindergarten, I am now in 12th grade. And I remember seeing it on the news on the TV. Some deaths just strike you and yeah. It's really sad. Kobe Bryant seemed like he was a great guy. He had children. He just had a newborn child. And yeah, it was just really, really sad. So I'm excited to be making this picture for you guys. I just thought it would be really nice to honor him because next month, February, is Black History Month. And my art teacher wanted me to do a huge Black Myth History Month display with a whole bunch of uh, important people in African American history. And of course, Kobe Bryant is important to African American history and to the whole basketball community. And of course, with this whole legacy and with his death, you can see how much of an impact he left on people in the world and in the United States. So let's get started and I'll show you my drawing process.
moment. Let me ruin this picture by using tempera paint. What a great idea. It took uh, nine and a half hours to film maybe. So I only filmed the coloring process and the painting process, of course. I did not include the sketching process and the gritting process, which probably took two hours and a half. So probably took 11 and a half hours maybe to draw because I have to whip out a lot of pictures for Black History Month. So I was not, I didn't have not have the time to just put a lot of detail into it. But at the same time, I wasn't rushing and made sure that I made it nice. So of course, it's Kobe Bryant. I tried to come up with a cool background, almost like a jewel gemstone. I don't remember what it's called, um, background. And I used tempera paint, which I can show you the tempera paint right here. And let me tell you, ooh, sorry. I used different, let me focus that. I used different colors of this metallic tempera paint. And let me tell you, tempera paint is terrible. I don't know if there are any good tempera paints, and let me just tell you right now, if you are an advanced artist, do not use tempera paint. Like if you usually buy stuff like Prismacolors or Copic markers or just any professional art supplies and that's what you're used to using, tempera paint is not for you. It's for kids that are just beginning to paint or in art class. It's what art teachers use in elementary school. And it's just terrible. The layering, it does not layer well, and apparently it's not light fast, or what a lot of artists say is archival, so it will fade in a few years, so I'm hoping this does not fade. So that's just very frustrating. It was very hard to use, I had to layer it so many times, I'm like, oh, this is metallic paint, maybe that's why it's not showing up well? No, it's because it's tempera paint. So, yeah. I just, this picture means a lot to me, because honestly, I, Kobe Bryant, I did not know much about him until he died. Um, and it's just so sad to sad to see that he died with his daughter and yeah, and that he had a newborn kid as well. So uh, I hope this picture struck a chord with many people, whether you're a basketball fan or not a basketball fan, a Kobe fan or not a Kobe fan. Um, he just has a wonderful legacy and he did so much for the world and for the United States. So I'm proud to say that I drew this picture. And that's it for this video, guys. I do have to say that this isn't necessarily the saddest picture that I've ever drawn because I drew a, sad, a really sad picture. I, I drew a sad picture after this too because Kobe Bryant is not the first um, person that I've drawn after their death. I've drawn a couple of people after they died and I've even drawn people and then they died later. So those pictures are really sad for me too. So I have my picture of Cameron Boyce up there on the wall. Should I bring it down? I should. So this picture may be even sadder because it shows all of like the, dif the different stages of his life from like when he was a child to when he was a teenager and he died when he was 19, I believe. So, and this picture is a lot bigger too. So I, hopefully I can show you um, the other sad picture that I drew after drawing Kobe Bryant. Um, Cause I want to wait to show you most of my drawings until after I put up my Black History Month display. But of course, I'm showing you my Kobe Bryant picture on the day, his the anniversary of his death, because it seems more appropriate. So I'm showing you guys that before I put up my display. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to share with your friends. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, which is at it's underscore yomi. On TikTok, at it's underscore yomi too. My website is it's yomi dot doodle dot dot doodle it's yomi dot doodle kit dot com, and my Etsy store is etsy dot com slash shop slash it's yomi. All of the links will be put in the video and in the video description. So that's it for this 
video. Thank you guys for watching, and I really appreciate it. Um, this means a lot to me. I've been getting a lot of um, followers and a lot, getting a lot more views than I'm used to getting, and I'm putting more more time into my videos, working on the lighting. So I hope that my videos are starting to look better. They're still not nowhere near where I want them to be, but I'm putting more time into them. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see ya.